Hello, my name is Pony7 and welcome back to Rise of Flight. Last time, well, Eggy was shut down by Flack, which I find unsporting on the Flaxman, since we had a nice old duel going on between us and a Englishman. But we're gonna start a new career. We're gonna go over to Western Front. Actually no, let's go over to Channel. We're going to filter by plane. Let's go in the... Unsafaus A. Oh, there we go. Who's flying the Panzerfaust A? It is yes to four. So I guess we're going to be part of yes to four. And a German military family. And our pilot shall be. Phone. Uh, yeah, we'll put, uh, yeah, then von seven. I'll just type it out since numbers don't work. I think actually we've seen this story. Let's go for laborer. And then And there we go, that's our story, or at least our background. So. Let's see what the game has in store for us. There we go. Thirteen aircraft. Four Panzerfaust B3As. Uh, five D3s and four D5As. So we may end up flying any of these aircraft. Although the career was, you know, set to start off, but again, we could fly any of these. Just hit next day. Fresh mail. Oh, and we're in a double albatross D three A in our first flight. Not our Panzerfest, but I guess it's reserved for the more experienced flyers since it's just barely entering production. What's the world news anyway? Rechtofen is at sixty one kills. German ace Voss killed. Aviators capture prisoners without landing. <laughs> All right, then, and Kaiser goes to Romania. Right then. Let's 
let's just get ready for our mission. Yep, he survived. Nothing happened. Now it's time for our first flight. Maybe the Brandenburg got an inverted rudder. It's quite a weird aircraft. Although it does make some sense because then you don't have to worry about shooting your own rudder off. It's always a nice thing to not have to worry about. Taking off their action point. The balloon attack. Oh, she actually read what it was. We're near Yeeps. Or Yipes, or. I think it's Yeeps. Uh, my attack had brought me so near to him that his explosion splashed my machine with the oil that ran out. Uh, and then one from Ostrod Bluck. Or whatever. Go to the hangar. Except, okay, are we flying a Panzer? Wait, no, it's. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll take a chronometer day just in case we are actually flying in altitude. And where does it put the. Looks out in the wing. So we won't take that. Okay. Let's hit start and see if we're actually in that plane. And we actually are. But the game lied to us. Okay, uh, that's a weird sight to use. I'm probably going to ditch that in the future. It was actually reversed. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to. I'm definitely gonna have to ditch this site in the future. It's just a weird positioning. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, it'd be nice if it was more center line, but again, it's not super bad. So I will, as normal, break things off here and bring you back when the action starts to heat up. I've just noticed that no flight leader anyone Oh, that was almost a collision has noticed but uh, this balloon over here is under attack. Oh wow that's quite responsive. It's under attack by aircraft. So we're gonna Jump in and see if we can save the balloon men. Although they have parachutes and we don't. Okay, swap with triplanes. Make sure our guns are cocked, it's falling on the tail. Our flight's come to help out. Why are you flying upside down? Ooh, gee. That was almost a collision. Stop flying upside down. 
Okay, you're actually doing something instead of just turning upside down and flying that way. I don't know why the AI is insisted on doing that. No check IR, stay. Get with me. Okay. There we go. Nope, I've up a little bit too much. There he goes. And my flight's gone and dealt with that balloon. And we saved our balloon man. But the uh, team metal is all around. So let's go and join back up with our flight. Or at least move in the direction. So not entirely sure where the other uh up of triplane went. I guess they shot it down. Although they look like they're going after something else. Unless that's one of the triplanes. Because the whole flight just turned around. It is one of the triplanes. That was almost a couple of collisions, looks like. One of these is the triplane. Looks like there's a triplane. I guess not. I guess the flight was just reforming. Alright then, well we've nearly managed to actually make it back up to the flight. And... Oh, I know, I don't know what it is. Nope, actually there is a soft triplane right there. Alright, so let's try and get some speed up. Because we actually can't engage right now, we're too low. And too slow. Right, track IR, please. Let's just adjust it over a little bit, and hopefully that will help. So, okay, that that hasn't really helped. This this is the center position. Are we going to engage this triplane? I mean, I'm tempted to cut here, but that triplane could come down on top of us any moment and engage us. But I don't know whether or not to cut. I don't think I will because technically we're still in range. We're still well below him, though. Okay. Alright. Got to lean back. I hope that this helps out with track IR. Well, then we're, we are getting quite close to being able to engage. Although my flight is buggered off.
Uh, let's try doing that, see if that helps out. I really don't know what's going on with the track I have right now. I'm really not sure. I'll probably actually break it here and start it up again when we're about to engage. Because we still need to climb. Right, looks like the engagement's about to happen. Let's kindly not stall out. He's reacted. There he goes. A little bit late on that burst. He's flying upside down again. a bad shot. I think some of those hit, but I may have lit them too much. A little bit too soon. Now I'm just going to do a spin. Oh, yes. Upside down. They don't like it when they're upside down engines from this time period. Oh, I actually could have had a good shot in there if I hadn't dipped the nose down. There we go, there's some hits. More hits. Up. Doesn't sound like his engine's too healthy. And there he goes. That's him down. So I'm actually going to just go and investigate what uh, there's my flight circling up there. I'm going to go take a look at these two over here, and then go from there. So I'll break it here, and I'll come back uh, when something else happens. Right, we've made it back to our field. Make sure I'm not going to crash anybody. anybody. I think I've managed to fi find out what was wrong track they are. I was actually sitting a little bit too low in my seat. I slouched a little bit, and then truck car when you don't like that. Thought I saw actually a red name behind me, but that was just them. But we're back at the airfield, coming into land. Uh, the two contacts I want to investigate turned out to be just simply uh, DFWs. Going about doing circuits on the over no man's land. Perhaps they heard what the uh, British had done and decided that they want to do some of their own. Go and round up some British prisoners and then check them back over to the German lines. 
It's possible. Alright, there we go. Bring the nose up. Ball bounce. Ball bounce. And drag in the tail. And there we go. Nice soft landing. So let's go and finish flight. Yes, I am sure. There we go, we've landed. We've scored two kills. Very nice. And uh, our flight lead actually shot down the balloon. So good on him. I guess ground fire killed the other one. Oh, we got the pilot's badge and the Iron Cross second class. There we go. Uh, ooh, we got a second. Ooh, sergeant. We actually got a ranking officer. Well then. Uh, poor luck to you. Uh, I don't think he was an ace of any kind. Uh, missions. I don't think we had. No, we weren't on the next one. Let's just go check a look at the squadron. See if anybody has uh, gotten anything damaged or not. Nope, everybody came back entirely in one piece from that flight. So, um, I'll break it off here and I'll see you all in the next flight.